Hello again, fellow readers, and welcome to the HSFF audio blog. It is Monday, the 11th of December 2023, and I just finished the second Jack Reacher novel yesterday. It's uh, Die Trying. Uh, it was published in 1998, and um, if you're wondering, the second season of the Netflix show or the uh, Amazon Prime show is not based on this book. So, um, my thoughts after finishing it, probably a missed opportunity. Um, this one, it's um, about Jack Reacher and a girl taken hostage. So, Jack is in Chicago, he's uh, strolling through the streets, he is, uh, you know, um, visiting and sightseeing the United States of America, because um, he, um, yeah, he served in the military worldwide in the United States Army, and now for the first time he has some time off, and, well... Uh, first, in the first novel, novel, he was in Margrave, Georgia. In the second one, it starts in Chicago. So, um, by circumstance, he is um, helping uh, a woman um, carrying her laundry. Uh, the woman, she has um, a hurt leg, so he's just a nice guy. And suddenly he blinks into three bad guys with pistols pointed at him. They want to take the the young woman, her name is Holly, hostage. Um, and, well, he is caught in between. And they just go for it and, well, they take Jack Reacher with them. Uh, it seems a fatal mistake. Because at this point, it's clear Jack Reacher, he's one of the coolest and most badass guys ever walking the face of the earth. And it's not the kind of person you want to take hostage. And Holly also, uh, she is very tough in her own right. So um, they take her and him hostage. They... Um, um, in, in the back of uh, some uh, van, they cross several states and there's some tense situations. And Richard really downplays in the first part of the book uh, what kind of a threat he really is. Smart guy, because he's unarmed and they have guns. But, you know, eventually they make it to one of these, I think you Americans call them, flyover states. And, well, let's say, um, so I'm not giving too much far away here, no spoilers. Holly, she works for the uh, local Chicago office of the FBI. And um, this group that kidnaps her, they have political ambitions um it's set around the independence day july um the 4th in this year and yeah they have some big political thing going and yeah they need holly as leverage um yeah and this is also what i as a non-american reader really liked about the novel um it gives you an idea about American society, American culture. And yeah, it, it was, I guess, like a premonition. Um, Holly is kidnapped. Again, I'm not giving too much away here uh, by a radical redneck uh, militia. Yeah. Um, yeah, they strive for their independence from the evil tyranny of the United States of America and the world government. And yeah, you really get where I'm getting at here. It's um, 
Yeah, like those Trump supporters in a way. Like the earth is flat and everyone is evil. Yeah, they want to de declare their independence from the United States of America. And they need, they need Holly for it, obviously. But again, they kidnapped Reacher. And Holly, she worked, works for the FBI. So the FBI, this is a, a separate plot line. Um, we follow the agents, um, how they, how they tail Holly and Reacher. And they have <laughs> some very wrong ideas about Reacher. And even United States Army is, uh, getting thrown into it as well and i don't know how lead child does it uh, i guess when you read it it all sounds very educated um lead child he must have done substantial research about the workings of these uh, separate american ministries yeah it's in in the novel at least it all works wonderfully and i as a non-american i get like a real detailed look into the workings of the american system and society so this was a wonderful book again eventually all the bad guys get what's coming for them be it broken necks or a shot in the head uh, reacher again established even more as a badass here and i enjoyed this book so much i will just jump into the third one tripwire and that makes it five jack reacher books in 2023 uh, yeah who would have thought uh, now by circumstance i told the story um at my house here in a local paper garbage bin somebody threw away jack reacher night school and jack reacher blue moon and well you know i i have something for books i have a love for books i took them out and i just gave them a shot why not just read something out of your comfort zone um, as the, the audio audio blog is called i mainly read horror science fiction and fantasy but Jack Reacher, uh, action, thriller, suspense, whatever you want to call it. I'm loving these books. Discovery of the year for me. So Jack Reacher, die trying, die trying to take Jack Reacher a hostage. They deserve it. These, these bad guys uh, get the thumbs up from me. I enjoyed it highly and I can only recommend it. All right. So if you made it to the end. Feel free to uh, give a thumbs up or even subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. Have a nice day. Till next time. Bye bye.